Boneyard, where we're all about Barker's blood, books, boxes, and burps. So, in this Barker episode, I'm going to show you my two new foster dogs that I got recently. <laughs> As you can probably tell, they are very, very playful. They <laughs> act like they are puppies, but I'm told that they're around three years old, but they, they act like they're three months old. They, um, uh, if you can, <laughs> ow, <laughs> they, uh, they play bite, and they are very, very hyper. And they also give kisses. This guy's name is Buster, and this girl is Olive. <laughs> Buster really likes to bite my hands, but he does it in a playful way. <laughs> He's so funny. <laughs> They are lovers. They are very much in love. So when they get adopted, they have to, have to, have to, have to be adopted together. Um, they, uh, they made puppies together, but they're fixed now. So no more puppies for you guys. But, so they're lovers, they're married. Um, so they're gonna stay together. Mwah! They know how to use my doggy door and they were potty trained but maybe they're not anymore because Buster peed in the house. But, if anything, they're, they're still kind of trained. I think he might have just been trying to mark his territory because of all the other dogs in my house because right now I have seven dogs in my house. So he is an English Bulldog and I don't know what she is, but to me she looks like a mix of a pit and a Bulldog because her face looks pity, but she's tiny. He's your little girl. Ow! <laughs> Ow, Buster! Ah! <laughs> so they need an active mommy and daddy, or mommy and mommy, or daddy and daddy. Because they are super, super playful, and they need someone that'll like be able to keep up with them and how playful they are. Oh, you fell! But yeah, they're very sweet and affectionate and they go everywhere together. They follow each other around. They don't want one to be without the other. And it's really cute and sweet how much they love each other. Something else about Buster, um, he's got these little spots on him. They look like little bald spots, but he has medicated shampoo and eventually they should go away. So it's really not that big of a deal. It's nothing contagious. And he's still beautiful and cute, so that should not prevent him from getting adopted. I don't think there are any health issues with Olive. She sticks her tongue out a lot, <laughs> and she's just so beautiful. She smiles. <laughs> it seems like they never get tired. Ouch. Uh, so I think it's adorable that how playful they are. I don't mind that he chews on me a little bit because it's obviously loving and playful. It's not like mean bites, but <laughs> yeah, that's something that is that both of their new owners are gonna have to deal with and work with. Um, come here, you guys. <laughs> they like to step all over each other and like it's like they hug each other and stuff. It's really cute. I'm fostering them through Forgotten Dogs Animal Rescue. I'll leave a link in the description so you can click on that and look at our dogs and see who's available. Hmm. <laughs> they're, they're pretty chunky. They're little, but they're chunky. So Jim, my little pincher pug, he weighs 21 pounds. So I would assume these guys feel like they're probably like 30 pounds. <laughs> or around in that range. <laughs> when they first got here, they were a little bit skittish of my other dogs, especially um, Olive. She was a little bit skittish of them at first and kind of like hesitant, but um, I think they're pretty good now. I have my other dogs in the room that you've probably seen walk around. Uh, my foster dog Stella and my dog 
Jim. Stella seems to be really okay with them and really likes them. Um, so that means that she's, she's still here because she's still available for adoption too. As you would have seen in my other video. So another thing about these little spots on him, he takes medication for it, um, pills, but there is only a few left. So by the time they get adopted, they probably won't, the owner probably won't even have to deal with it. But right now he takes a pill morning and night for that. And she's taking a pill morning and night for, um, I don't know, some other reason. Probably because of her getting fixed recently. I feel bad for Buster because I noticed that his ears are cropped. We, we didn't do that. My rescue would never crop a dog's ears. That's not okay. So I hope the people watching this, I hope you don't do that to your dogs because that's not good. So whoever had him before must have done that um, for cosmetic purposes, which we don't agree with. But. It's okay, they, it looks healed, it looks like it had to have been a while ago, so he's good now. But hopefully his previous owners never have another dog ever again. <laughs> so that's all I can think of for these guys. Um, we're located in Las Vegas, so share with your Las Vegas friends, anyone that's looking for some cute pups. Again, they are going to be adopted together, that's a requirement, because they're in love. Don't forget, adopt, don't shop, and spay and neuter your pets. Also, don't crop your dog's ears. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think about these cute little babies. And I'll see you next time. Yeah. The chunky boy! Oh.